Hi guys and welcome back to another exciting and brand new episode. Today on the couch I've got MC Title. For those who don't know MC Title, sit back, relax, concentrate, listen carefully to what we're about to discuss. MC, you are king. Before you say much, right? I want you to to introduce the channel to the viewers. We are, we, we just went gone live. Let's see what you say. Alright, 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 what's going on? Uh, the name is Uncle MC Tyler, aka Ukanda Shisa, aka Mr. Magnificent, aka I'm good on the mic, I'm even better with the wife. Welcome to the Zeus Canal, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby. What's up, what's up, what's up, baby? Okay, okay, okay. Um, welcome to the channel. Thanks, man, thanks, man. Um, I, I, you, you, you're, you're such a busy man, and it's such an honor to have you finally sitting right next to me and having this episode. Yo, man, like I've been watching you, I mean, big shout out to you, you, you're doing the most, big shout out to you, thank you, you thank all tiered to the tough guy, uh, put in my ningi ningi, yeah, man, I see you guys, I see you. Shout out to you too, hey, like, um, um, I see you, you are bringing the culture together, you're trying best to bring the culture together, we've, you've even um, brought the kids that we didn't even know, like the, the, the new kids, the young kids, I see them now, they're playing on your, on your, um, on your station. You know what? I call myself Beeswax, man. I put it together like Beeswax on dreadlocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys, you guys, where you Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Obviously, there's there's a lot of people that know you. Yeah. I, we've got we've got. Uh. So now we've also got what we call the cartels. People are subscribed to our channel. We call them the cartels. We've got cartels who are seeing you for the first time. I can just break it down and run run it down for them. Who's who's MC Title? Uh, you know what? You know, I I I I weigh I weigh I weigh twenty nine hairs, man. Like, trust you me, I got a lot of caps on. But then, the most important thing is, uh, I I call myself hip hop. I am hip hop, man. I've been doing this since I could have passed. Like, I I fell in love with uh with hip hop. Like, I was back in the day, babe. I think uh nineteen ninety. Officially, uh, let's 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 cut the whole crap. Uh, my first professional track on radio was nineteen ninety nine. That's when I 1999. 1999. That's when I had my first song on radio. Actually, Liam listened to myself on radio. Uh, and how old were you by then? I was. I was. Uh, how old was I? Fuck. I'm getting old. I'm confused. <laughs> well, in 1918. Oh, fuck. I have to ask my mom. But yeah, man. Uh, that was then. Then from there on, the, the the story moved from you know you know the love for the love of the game. Like uh, I I hung around with King Crude, so we used to experiment a lot. And King Krug was, was more of the geek in our clique and uh, you always came up with ideas, software and everything. So you, you would download softwares and everything. And then, yeah, man, we started making music on Evolution Media. Some people don't even know that shit. Some, some crappy, funny midi thingy. Uh -huh. And yeah, then we moved on to Fruity Loops 3. Yeah, that was the beginning of everything. We, we yeah, that was now 2003, we, we got into so, 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 wait, can you just go back? 99 when your track drops on radio, yeah. it's your track, you alone, or is a click like? Uh, so, what, what, okay, what is your opinion? Like, I was part of a, of a, of a crew, it was called Killer Clan. Uh, Killer Clan, we used to, the name, we, the brand became big. We never really used to do shit for radio, or, because radio was, was like, not even a dream, a nightmare, because it was hard to get on it, on radio. We never dreamt about it, but, we, we created a name wherever we, we went, people people would, would actually recognize us. You know, we, we were the, the, the first click to come through, print our t shirts. You know, we're this, this, this whole hotel mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I see, I see. I was so, we, we, we'll, be, we'll be all over, we'll, we'll, we'll get to shows. The way the grind was so respected, like, I, trust you me, we used to use people's instrumentals, but every time we go to a show, when Killer Clan is there, they know already we're not going to use uh, the hotel instrumental because they use that. If Hamadre is there, we know we're not going to use Nazis like because Hamadre uses that. If Icon is there, we know, ah, fuck it, we're not going to use, uh, what was it, was it? I think it was a Noriega instrument or something like that. that. That's how we used to respect each other back in the day. And trust you me, it was so competitive and we'd do it and we'd do it so real. And we never did shit for TV, did shit for radio and stuff. But of course, we, we went on to do on TNC and everything. Uh -huh. But we kept it real. We kept 100 all the time, do you understand? So Killer Clan was a click. We recorded a couple of singles and everything, but... This one that called me on radio, there's a guy, his name was DJ Henry. So he was working on an album, it was an AIDS album. So he came to me, he's like, no, dude, I need you on my album. So it was featuring, it was DJ Henry featuring MC Tights, so featuring Achuzi, uh, 
Go Boys and uh, Tsungi. Tsungi was part of the Mpokoma Drama Club before it became called Iasa. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. she's now in the UK. Uh, you know, it was way before Sandra had asked, man. She's just... She's just... She's just... You understand? So, yeah, so we, 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 we from, we from that era, King. And, um, yeah, man. So, uh, after school, you know, you know, you know what happens. Um, until today, I think I'm, I'm the only one from, from my clique who's still doing music, who actually pursued music. Uh, everyone so how many were you? Were seven. It was seven of us. The other guy's in the army, the other guy's a teacher, the other guy's in Poland. Um, the other guy is somewhere in case it But you guys like still keeping in contact? Yeah, we keep it real except for one asshole that I don't talk to. But otherwise, um, yeah, we were cool. We were cool. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, your life has been, has been music. So MC Terry is music, MC Terry is hip hop, like you said. Like I've 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 never done anything else. Uh, one thing that I would say is that when I left, uh, I left Zim uh, for SA because we had done a movie and our movie made it to DS to DSTV and it wasn't our doing. I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to follow up. I came to SA, slept on the streets by uh, you know Kensington. There's a KFC there. Slept there by Kensington about two nights. And I walk to run back, I get to run back, those guys will tell me, like, hey, dude, there's nothing we can do. Because what actually those, these cats did, like, uh, two names popped up, Albert Nyaki, Tandazanzi, but those two names popped up, but then still they denied it. But anyway, cool. They took it as it is. They never took off the credits or anything. No. Check the movie. Sweet November gave to, to, to those guys. The what was the name of the movie? Sweet November. Sweet November. Yeah. You understand? And so there was nothing I could do. Then I was like, I felt like I can't go back home empty handed. Mm. So I chilled. Uh, I was heartbroken. I, I I did I did I do whatever everybody does to survive. I worked in a restaurant. I was a waiter mm. uh, just to survive. Then I was like, no, fuck it. I'm gonna get back to it. Then uh, yeah, man. Then long story short, yeah, man. I am what I am, man. So 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 the movie happened. The movie did it. Went on DSTV, but you guys got nothing. Fuck off. Zip, zilch, nothing. Is there another way that you know for zilch? <laughs> you know, and 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 the funny, what hurt me the most is like we we sacrificed a lot. We used to run a studio. We used to run. We used to write, to record people fifteen bond. Uh, you know, remember that, that brown paper? We used to record people 15, 15 bucks for a, for 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 a vocal. The moment we record your vocal or we record two three songs, I mean two three people a day, we put the money aside. We call our actors. We call our our, our driver guys. We got money. Let's go shoot two scenes. We, and we worked on it for six months. And big shout out to 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 to, to the to the people who, who, who were who were involved. They were patient with us, and mm -hmm. a lot of them have have, have have done great for themselves. Um, in different fields, of course, but then uh, ninety percent of the people they have done great for themselves. I'm like I'm talking. Kelvin was there. Orthodox was there. He was there. He's now in Dubai. There's no movie. She's now a big shot uh, lawyer somewhere in the KZN. There's a um, Pilo, he's traveling the world. Uh, we, we talk, we're talk. we talking King Cruz is in Australia right now. Of course, we're talking MC Tad, what the fuck? Um, you know, so, it, it's so, so can I just hold you? Yeah. Um, now that you didn't get anything from the movie, these people were acting there. What happened to them? Did they also understand? The people understood. When, 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 when we talked, we, it was, it was where the gentleman's agreement, like, guys, this is what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, we also like this. But then in Zim, People are not doing this because people in the Zim, they, they, they're so, you know, you know, they're so stuck up. They, they, they were so stuck up in doing a drama like, okay, it has to be about HIV mm -hmm. or it has to be about this guy who left his daughter. And then, you know, this is those the same, same, same shit, different cast, you understand? Mm -hmm. So we did it. It was the first, a first hip hop feature. You understand? The first one to even have a sex, a sex scene and shit, and it was hard. You <laughs> understand? <laughs> <laughs> it was hip hop all the way, and, and, and we. we we did it proper, we did it the way we live. Because right now, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's the way we're living today is not what we're watching on TV. They still want to portray us like we're still living in the 80s yeah. and the 90s. That's why even if you listen to radio, the commercials are stupid, they suck. It, it, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. We have people who wake up and say and get and get paid shit lots of money to do that shit that they're doing right now. And they say we just talk shit, but no, we don't talk shit, we talk the truth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so I think, um, the gentleman has just like gave us a brief of who he is and who is about what he is about. So, um, so last night, just last night, when when I was when I was checking, so I I, I got your contact on my phone, cool. So I'm checking there. I don't know why I had to go to your status, but yeah, I went to your status. 
Then I saw um, the status reads, don't thank me, pay me. Yeah, man. That's a powerful status. Don't man. thank me, pay me. You know, you know, you know what's been happening is act, music is work. Mm. But people think we're having fun. Just cause just cause I'm able to 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 to, to, to sip my, 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 my drink on, on live on set doesn't mean I'm not working. Just because I'm 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 able to, to walk around and, 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 and look cool and do whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm at work. Mm. You understand? Mm. I'm inter- for me to entertain you because the reason you, you you've got a gadget you've got you've got you've got a, a phone or a laptop that you're watching us from you you pay data to to be on that channel that you're yeah, watching us from yeah yeah you understand so why can't you pay the person who's entertaining you so don't thank me pay me because that what's been happening a lot of kids who come ah malumi ah but malumi na okay cool you want me to do you a, a, maybe a song or whatever it is? Mm-hmm. I, I have to plug my machine uh, on, 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 on electricity or whatever it is. Who's paying for that? So now I help you and I have to pay. I have to pay to help you. You understand? Wow. That's... Instead of you coming through and saying, Malume, okay, I'm Malume, you know what? I'm your boy. I can't afford what you charge for your services. But you know what? I've got something. And I'll be like, okay, cool. Your money, I'll pay you for my electricity bill and I'm going to work on your shit for two hours. That's 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 really a powerful statement, Because hey? like like you're saying, for example, right now people are watching us, right? Yeah. They use their data. Yes. They'll they'll go all the way to 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 use their data to watch us. Yes. Then they just say, That was you, you did a nice yeah, job. That was dope, that was dope, that was dope. And, and then the next thing, ah Zeus, I want you to go on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh Zeus, can you do this for me? And then when Zeus does A, B, C, D. Zeus has to get, get on a taxi or an Uber or Puffy or in his ride or whatever it is to go and do whatever you ask him to do. Mm. When he's mm. done and your shit pops, you say, ah, it's hey, Zeus, thank you, son. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That shit done that's with a pro, bro. Thank you, son, for what? Sure. Um, I think, let's hope people are, those that are watching, uh, uh, you're learning something new. It's not wrong to say thank you, but I thank you, Bamele, is a little something because... Guys, we go all the way, all the way out. Like I go all out to get people to come to the couch, try and advertise whatever you are doing, and 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 and. I also am looking forward to something. Not that we are demanding, but you also have to come back and say, Malume, thanks. My track, I had you play my track. Malume, thanks. You did one, two, three. You understand? You know the what what what's 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 hurting is like uh, all these people come to you and ask you for something and don't and don't want to pay you. Are the same people who soon after they leave your place will actually go pay for something somewhere else. That's meaning. So are you saying what I do to if if what I do to you is not worthy, don't bother. But the reason why you came to me is because you, you can see what I'm doing and you, you you approve of what I'm doing. You you, you think it's worthy your, your 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 brand or your grind or whatever it is, you think it's gonna add value. You understand? Dude, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a family man. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the most wanted baby fathers, bro. There's, there's many kids who are looking at who, like, like my son will be like, okay, so daddy. My my daughter will be like, daddy. My other son will be like, daddy. And then you will fucking thank me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you see now? So yeah, man. And like, bitter baby mamas out there who, who need me to pay shit and everything. And I'm looking cool. And they'll be like, okay, dude. You're looking cool and you're shit is you making money. Over. You're making money. Making money and shit. Okay. I like, oh, God, you shit. I don't know you're washing it. I'm not an artist. I don't pay you. No, I'm not an artist. And your name is called Left, Right, and Say it. You guys. Guys, MC Charlie, MC Charlie, this, MC Charlie, that. But right you're not getting anything. Right now, I'm in job work. I was, I was, I was in Bohanana two years ago. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I stay in Devon. I'm, I'm, I'm half the time in Stellenbos. So people be like, oh, shit. So, you know, but it's not it's not it. It's it, it, it's just it's just me trying to keep saying and, and, and not stopping. Just because mm-hmm. you didn't pay me, that's being out of the kind. That's true. You understand? That's true. So that's why I've 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 gone all the way to actually uh open other channels. Uh, one for the love of the game and two because there's a lot of things that are not going right, especially for hip hop, especially for the grind. So I'm like, you know what, if this door is not opening, I'm gonna open my own door. Okay, so about that, we're just gonna, we still gonna get to that. Let's talk um, about the online radio station. So, MC Tyro here, guys, has got a radio station. It's an online radio station called The Connect Online. So, can you run us through the station? What is it about and what you guys do? The Connect Online, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, like you said, it's an online station, right? 
Uh, it's actually uh, it's basically an, an, or an urban contemporary station. So we, we try to keep it keep it real with the with the urban culture, and because um, I'm I'm one person who's so critical when it comes to that. Because like we 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 are being bullied by so-called gatekeepers and whoever it is about uh, this is not our culture, this is not whatever. But then people, I think they they miss the dictionary uh, definition of what culture is. You understand because culture is the current way of living right now and right now the urban culture is what we're going through so with uh connect online we try and play music that resonates to to the current culture do you understand uh we we we, we, don't, we, we don't we don't do we don't break tradition yes tradition is there to guide us and everything but um there's a lot of other stations that are already doing it so we let them get be so we play 80 percent of zimbabwe music and uh 20 percent the rest of the world so like right now uh, we've gone actually beyond our duty, our call of duty, because now we've, we've been playing music from South Sudan, Nigeria, Ghana. Um, I have got a Morocco MC who submitted, and I'm like, okay, it's crazy. You can tune in tonight. Um, in as much as I can hear, but then the, the flow and cadence on the, on the track is just amazing. So I'm sometimes, drop it. So, so, let me, so, true. so sometimes with music, I've also realized that it's not, you don't necessarily have to understand what is being said, but you can feel. Dude, that dude. this is fire. Hundred percent. Like I tell you, I tell you. Like before, before I understood uh, all, all the other South African languages, we, we've been vibing, mm. bro. We exactly. like, especially me. We grew up in the Pansula era. We used to we used to drive to 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 Upa Upeni Peni. I didn't know nothing about <laughs> not even one way this song, eh? But 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 it was vibe. It's it's like now. Look at what what we're doing now. We, Dancing all night to Nigerian music, like we don't even hear what they're saying, but we just we vibe. But on that tip, right? On that tip, I'm a bit heartbroken, especially with the kids at home. Né? There's a lot of, um, I think it's tribalism. When music comes from Bulawayo, there's always an excuse that your music won't pop because we can't understand their way. But now go to the clubs. These fuckers are playing Nigerian music. Are you telling me this guy, this guy's understand Nigerian music? They, we, we we grew up on. Fucking, I will don't go back coffee on the media, fucking yondo sisters and shit. <laughs> you understand? Do they understand all that shit? They don't. It's just pure hate. Mm -hmm. yeah, what you, just to make an excuse. I, I was disgusted one day on, on uh, uh, I think it's HTV. This guy says, my nine was playing there. Then they're like, ah, you know what? When my nine is playing, we need subtitles because I can't hear shit. I'm like, what kind of ignorance is that on fucking, on a, on a, on a, on a, like, on a, how, how do you say such a thing? On a, on a channel that's got so much following. And then people let it slide like that. And it's the shit that's breaking my heart, bro. You understand? I think also the, the problem we are, we, are, we are facing is we we not say we not we don't talk about stuff. People are scared. Exactly. For what? Such such a thing happens, we see that it's wrong. That wasn't the right way to say or to address it. But then nobody's gonna come forward to say, but you have to be held accountable. Bruh, you know what? Act knows no tribe, no race, no boundaries, nothing. Uh, I'll tell you, 19, uh, 1999, uh, Miss did a, 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 a remix uh, for in my group with MC Sola. The guy is from France. Dude, that shit was banging. He's the guy who comes zigzag, zigzag, and then bonjour, whatever it is that you are saying. But it was crazy. It. it was crazy. It was crazy. It, it went global. You understand? The all oh, the pit bulls and all the other uh, fucking Puerto Ricans and shit will come through and do their stuff. Mm -hmm. We we vibe to that. Do we look at, look at uh, what's the song Despacito, dude? Look at how big the song was. She is international. All over the world. Like, look at Jerusalem. Fuck, it's it's like, it's, it's everywhere. Do those fuckers even know what this guy is saying? They don't, but they're just vibing. And then you get people who are actually in the same country telling you that ah. A tears we what what is it that you come here you, you, that that's just people being ignorant because the ignorance to me let me tell you one thing the ignorance is 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 both ways and we also have people from Blawai where we come from who are so quick to be like to blame Marare for for their failures people who, ignorance is is, is 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 bliss and is very high in our in our in our, in our, in our society mm -hmm. somebody is able to say RJ that thing the two line they mean but then later on, you'll be like, ah, Jay, I wonder. You, you understand? Because <laughs> Tula and Tawanda is the same shit. Mm. Do you understand? But then now, you, 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 you spend so much energy trying to prove that you're actually not from the other tribe instead of you pushing your music. 
pushing you out. You understand? Because the, the moment you get rid of all the boundaries that, 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 that you put, whether visible or invisible, trust you me, your shit, your shit will go places. I think, I think the, the, the ignorance needs to stop in the music industry and people need to just period. be one. Period, period. And one thing that I tell you, like there's this thing that, yeah, we need to unite. We don't. Dude, you are my competition. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, I'm running a, a, a radio station. You, 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 you've got, you've got your, 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 your channel here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's two different grinds, but at the end of the day, it's the space that we're competing in. In the name in the world of Bill Gates, use the space. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Use the space. It's the space is open for everybody. Do you just understand? Use it. I'm not supposed to come through and be like, but tough guy is taking pictures and I'm also taking pictures, so what the fuck? No. So, so let me use the space. So, you, are, you know what? There's something that I need to, I need to ask. When you started the, the radio station, um, how was it to like start getting people to come through? You, you are like a guru in the music industry. And obviously, I'm, I'm quite certain and sure that you know a lot of people that... So, was it easy for you to get people to come to the show, like just to, you know, be part of... Actually, actually, this, the story behind the station is, is a long one, right? Um, I'm actually not the founder. Okay. The founder is, uh, is one kid called DJ Kush, but um, yeah, so we worked together and, uh, and all, but you know the situation back home, how things are and uh, a lot of things can be done. So I, 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 and I've got a lot of commitment and passion when it comes to this. Sure. And uh, I'm a media, I'm a, I'm a media graduate. I'm not just my lumen who came through and started doing shit. <laughs> I understand. I'm immediate graduate. I've, I've never, the only time I was in the newsroom is during attachment and shit, but I used to dodge that shit because uh, I, I, I did it because that was the only tertiary thing that I could do back then that was mm -hmm. close to what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have approached Kess like, dude, you know what? There's a lot of stories to be told. You've got a blog. Can I write for you? Or you've got a magazine. Can I write for you for free? This time around, don't pay me. Thank me. But kids be like, ah, okay, yeah, my little girl. You understand? Then I'm like, okay, fuck it. You get? Mm. There's a lot of, now, I have a lot of channels that I've opened on my own that I do. I've got the King City TV. Uh, right now I'm working on, uh, on, a, on, a, on a music store. It's called the King, uh, King City Music, the Bulawayo Music Store. Submit your music, people can buy using Ecocast Telekish, your mm. PayPal's, your Visa, whatever it is. I'll be launching it at the summit. Uh, I've got a couple of blogs that I 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 help that I work for some pay me some thank me and, and and all and all that because then now there's a lot of people on radio who are actually my friends that I would approach like guys this is what's this is what's going on because me I'm, a, I'm 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 actually friends with a lot of people down at the bottom of the food chain mm -hmm. and they talk to me and I, I'm one person who's easy I come through we have a conversation we talk and I I informally Pass on the message, guys. This is what you guys are shitting on us, or, yeah, or, or yeah. this is what guys are crying about. This is what's happening and everything. And cats always like, no, you get. It. So I was like, you know what? You know the best thing to do is fuck that shit. I'm gonna do my own shit. You get. It. And so now, now, I've I've complained. I've complained. I've complained to every radio station. Like hip hop gets only one hour. Guys who play. Like especially the, the new Bulawayo stations, they've got one hour show that uh, the rap lab on, on Kulumari FM is one hour. Uh, what what you call the other uh, Sky's Metro took off sixteen bars, so there's no longer a hip hop show. Right now, if you go to to Bulawayo, yeah, one in every three houses, there's either there's a work rapper, I wanna be rapper, or a retired rapper or something. But trust you me, there's always a rapper in every house somewhere. Throw a stone, you fucking hit an aspiring rapper, you hit somebody who's already involved. And in every <laughs> studio that you go to, mm. your backbone is hip -hop. hip hop. We do the most hip hop in in Zim period, like from from back in the end to today. I can I can talk about hip hop from as far back as nineteen ninety six until to date without missing a word, and I'll tell you exactly like it is and what's going on. Do you understand? There are kids who come through. Uh, fuck. Okay, the guy got. Uh, he went to MSU. He did uh, media and whatever. The next thing he finds himself on ZFM, whatever it is. Okay, and then the next thing is, is, is the guy who's running shit. Uh, he puts his neighbor there because it happens when when Power FM was in Guero, a lot of people who stay in Guero actually got to, to be on, 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 on radio. Do you understand? They got to be on radio, but then because the DJs were coming from Harare, yeah, so it became Guero and Harare, you know. 
or Wabu or Skid before they moved to Harare because now they had already created a name on Power Film was there. We used to cut that steam mail at your code so we would get there, we would show and admire Tadera, we would get there, he would talk to us for 30 seconds like, oh, so leave the, ah, okay, you, you guys, ah, leave your CD there. You understand? Like right now, if I play music that we produced in 2003, it's even way dope than half the shit that's been played today. So those those are the, those those are the people that killed dreams back then, bruh. The little I tell you, the little kids were talented. Like I I have music from his father because 2099. There there are kids whose dreams were killed by merely being ignored or by merely because maybe they didn't have enough payola or whatever it is or or or, or whatever it is that, that that those guys needed for it to be on radio. Mm -hmm. You understand? Last Thursday. I played three hours of non-stop music from back in the day. The oldest song was 2014. I got call. I got a call from somebody in the mainstream. Mm -hmm. who was like, dude, you are lying to us. I was like, okay, you know what? I zipped the file. I sent it to him. The metadata, everything is still there. The guys I have contact with, I gave them. I gave him the number. He called five, six guys, and then you, he came back to me like, dude, I tell you no, such shit. Do you understand? So, dreams were killed. Trust you me, dreams were killed. My crew, my crew, my, 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 my crew was bad, but they, they, had, to, they had to quit. Hamadrez was way bad, but they had to quit. Do you understand? That's, 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 that's so heartbreaking to know that they, there was, there used to be talent that was supposed to go all the way. Bruh, I'm talking just international standard, people with international flavor, people who just, there's a guy that thought electric, they did music like what Black Thought, in the in the UK the and everything and, and fine it's now in Canada and stuff but if you listen to the stuff that he did back then and you you, you think to think like dude are you sure this is like eighteen years ago you won't even believe it. Yeah. Even the beats, the futuristic and everything because mm -hmm. us the reason the other reason why I think we fell out of favor with those kids is like they wanted to improve to, to, to promote their urban groups and that's we were like no if our artist comes to us and he does R and B we produce other so so it's so quite, we do quite we don't do urban groups so we so how how was it with what what you guys were doing in the urban groups because i understand in that era urban mm -hmm. groups about, is it going to be happening and what is it about thank you very much guys for tuning in see you in the next episode